Anthony Hartwig, Ty Bartell here with another baseball preview for YSN. We're joined by Struthers baseball head coach Tom Otto. Coach, thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Oh, thanks for having me. Um, I think YSN is great. I, I love what you guys do uh, for the area and local sports. Coach, what we like to do with all of our area coaches and teams, we always like to start off with the meet the team segment. So I want to give you the opportunity to shout out your returners that are coming back this year, as well as some of the new faces we can expect in Wildcat baseball. Well, um, obviously, this is my first year at Struthers, uh, but some of the returning starters or lettermen that they would have uh, is uh, we're led by Olindo Pazone who is a uh, verbal commit in the junior class to go to YSU. Uh, he'll play center field for us, and he'll be our number one pitcher. Uh, we are also um, in that junior class, Alec Grzib, uh, who will really be kind of a do-it-all guy for us. He'll be our number two pitcher, also catch a little bit, play short. Um, when, when guys are pitching and kind of bounce around, uh, we feel comfortable that Alec – will kind of settle into that, be that rotate guy instead of moving a number of guys around uh, during the course of the game. But we, we think that we can just do it with him. Uh, but uh, they'll be two of our top pitchers. Uh, Chance Glasgow is the returning shortstop. Uh, Chance is a, is a player I'm very familiar with. I, I've coached him in the past in the summer in class B. Um, he, he will also be our, our third pitcher. And we feel pretty good about them guys on the mound. Um, Olindo's been over 90 in some bullpens. Uh, Alex been in the mid 80s. He's hit 88 a couple times. And Chance has been in the low to mid 80s. Uh, so it, it all starts on the mound for us with those three guys. And then also um, in that junior class as well, Austin McCullough will catch and play a little first. Uh, depending on uh, who's pitching and what, what's going on there. Uh, we do have three seniors, uh, two of them, uh, Ronnie Leonard and Drew Day, um, have, have been four-year players here. Uh, they will also pitch for us and round out our pitching staff as far as our top five guys there. Um, Ronnie will also play a little right field and first base, uh, be a middle-of-the-order guy for us. And uh, Drew will play third uh, when he's not pitching. And uh, he will also uh, be um, in the middle of the order there. Them guys will probably bat four or five um, in the lineup for us. Um, we have a couple sophomores. Grady Moore, who played last year as a freshman, uh, will we'll come back and play the outfield. He'll play center when Olindo pitches and play left uh, when, when O isn't on the mound. And we believe that Caleb uh, Sakara will probably end up being our DH in that sophomore class. And then we have a few freshmen uh, buying for like that last spot to, to get into the lineup. So, uh, we, you know, numbers aren't great. We're only about 19 guys, uh, but uh, we just got clarification the other day with 12 underclassmen on the team. We're actually going to try and do a JV program for the first time in a number of years here. So we're, we're excited about the group we have and uh, we're making progress every day. Coach, we know that when you're coming into a program in your first year, the most important thing is to build a culture and, and try to uh, build it from the ground up. So what kind of culture are you trying to build in Struthers? And, and if someone was going to ask, uh, what's being a Wildcat mean to you under Coach Tom Otto, what, what, do you, what would you hope that they, they kind of answer to that? Well, I, I think the big thing uh, for me is, you know, they, they haven't won here in a while. You know, um, some of the guys that are involved in the program now that are coaching are, are telling me they think it's been 14 since we had a, a winning record. It's been 11 since we won the conference. I don't think they've won a district since 01. Um, so for, for me, um, just the community has been great. The support from the administration's uh, been wonderful. Uh, the kids have really bought in the, the what we're trying to teach them. Uh, maybe a little bit more terminology for them and, and uh, things like that, verbiage that they're getting used to some of the things that uh, we're trying to convey to them. Um, you know, we're, we've put in coverages for different plays and, and you know, I, I know that's all new to them, but um, 
you know, they, they've been very receptive to coaching and, and I'm just excited to be here. I think this, this is a group that we can win with. Coach, talk about competing in this uh, tough NE8 conference and uh, what's going to be some challenges that stand in your way of uh, trying to achieve a uh, conference crown. <laughs> Well, you know, the one thing that I'm excited about is I, I know every coach personally in the conference, um, you know, through either uh, playing against them at, at some of the other schools I've been at or, or um, playing um, and coaching against them in the summer um, and, and so on. But obviously the conference is, is stacked from top to bottom. You know, I'm excited to be in this conference. I, I'm excited the, you know, the butt heads with some old rivals and, and be around that group of coaches. You know, uh, Coach Hannock at South Range, obviously they've been the measuring stick for the last couple of years. Uh, Coach Hannock is actually a former player of mine. Uh, you know, he played for me when we, when we were at Goldstein's. I as a coach, him as a player. Um, coach Granary, um, you know, I seen him on the other day. You know, I came in with Coach Granary. Uh, my past been a little different as than his, um, just because he's been able to stay at one place and coach at the moment. Um, when they redesigned the school system at Cheney, I really didn't have a chance um, to stay. You know, obviously we got rid of sports and, and um, you know, I had to go elsewhere. You know, coach Algiers, I actually played for his father uh, in the past. And, and then, you know, coach Heraldi, I can remember, um, you know, doing JVs against his father when I was at Cheney, when he was at Hubbard. Um, you know, Coach Murray. I, I just talked to Coach Smirkansky and Coach Hay, um, and, and those were guys that I was with at Westminster. Uh, we were hoping to scrimmage Poland today, but you know they couldn't get their field ready. So you know, I, I'm very, very familiar with the you know the coaching staffs. Coach Carson in his first year at Lakeview, obviously a former Class B player and a player that played at Niles. So um, I, I'm just uh, very excited to be in the conference. Can't wait to get out there. Um, you know, I know Niles has a lot of returners coming back. Um, they're going to be well coached, obviously, with Coach Granary. You know, obviously Hubbard, um, Poland, them guys are always going to be in the mix there. So, you know, we'll, we'll see what the season brings. Coach, since it is your first year, let's let the Struthers community and the Struthers baseball fans get to know you a little bit. Talk about your baseball journey and kind of what brought you to this point, taking over the Struthers job. Well, um, for me, you know, I, I thought it was a job when it came open um, that I had an interest in. Uh, you know, obviously there were there were several job openings uh, this summer, um, and you know, it, it just seemed like a good fit to me. For me, what really did it is the former players that have played for me in the B League, that played at Struthers, reaching out to me and, and said, you know, th this is where we want you to the coach. And, um, I, you know, once I heard that and had some uh, support from the community and, and former players of mine, you know, I decided to go for the job and, and very fortunate enough that they entrusted me uh, with their program. And, and um, you know, I, I'm just excited to be a Wildcat now. Um, as far as my background, uh, this would be my 29th year in coaching. Um, I spent 24 years as a head coach in the B League. I've been running a franchise in the Class B League since 04. I spent nine years in the in the Cheney program under Coach Popio uh, as a JV coach, then all, all the way up to the assistant varsity coach. I, I was fortunate enough to coach at my alma mater there for two years um, prior to um, you know, the news of, of Cheney losing athletics. And, and then at that point, you know, uh, my journey kind of uh, took a shift. Um, you know, some things happened in my uh, personal life. My, my father passed. I wasn't able to coach high school ball for a couple years. Uh, then I got back in um, for a year with uh, Coach Hogue at Jackson Milton, who is now the Hubbard AD, uh, was an assistant there. And then um, I – my journey actually took me to Westminster College for five years as the recruiting coordinator and head assistant coach. And, and um, after that stint, I, I was at Liberty for the previous four years as, as their head coach. So this would be, uh, I believe, my seventh year as a varsity head coach. But um, adding up the math real quick, I, I think this would be my 
seventeenth, uh, eighteenth year as a as a high school baseball coach. So a lot of baseball, basically, is <laughs> the, the the point of that story. A lot of baseball. <laughs> Coach, looking at to just the non-conference games, what are some games you're excited with? And pair that with the fact that a lot of these games being housed on uh, on Scene Park, and uh, just what does it mean to you to be able to play some of these games on Scene Park, especially that beautiful Scene One field? Well, for me, you know, I, I you know my journey started in Class B. Um, I started coaching in, in Class B in '94. I can actually remember a story of. Um, Myself and Bob seen sitting in the press box um, when the when the park was being built, when the fields were being put in, and he would tell me a couple stories and he would tell me a couple things um, about um, you know what he wanted it to be and, and the legacy that he wanted it to become and what he wanted for the future, and um, I I just hope every day that that um, you know myself Scott you know. Bobby Beam, Stevie Leslie, the other guys down at Class B, we're, we're living up to that. And um, there's no better place to play baseball in the state of Ohio. Um, you know, looking at the schedule, I, I think we have 18 games in the park uh, this year. You know, I, I was very fortunate enough to schedule a lot of games because, uh, quite frankly, everyone wants to be down there. Um, as far as the non-conference schedule, um, you know, I, I'm excited to have Canfield and Salem uh, both on the schedule with them being defending district champs in, in the area. It, it's kind of weird ha saying that they're both district champs, being that, uh, you know, I'm kind of old school and, and before, you know, you'd be in the same district tournament, that wouldn't happen. But um, we're excited to have them. Um, you know, we also play Holland that I think has a chance to be really good. Uh, in fact, we have all the schools except for Fitch. Uh, we weren't able to get Fitch in, in that in that one conference, but um, Boardman, um, Harding, you, you know the teams uh, there. You know that's going to give us some good baseball. Um, you know I, I don't want to slight anyone at all. We we actually open up with West Branch, who I, I who I think has a chance to be a very good team in Division Two. Um, we play all the Ashtabula teams that are bigger schools, Lakeside, Jefferson, Edgewood. Um, we're, we're playing Crestview. We're playing Springfield and, and Lowville, Campbell to kind of round out the schedule there. So hopefully I, I got everyone that we're playing. Coach, when you look at uh, this roster and you look at like, what you've got, and I'm sure you and the coaching staff is, have taken time to evaluate it, um, what are going to be some of your strengths and, and what do you think the identity of this baseball team is going to be this year? Well, uh, like I said, um, you know, when, when you have three guys um, that we believe that can, that can win us baseball games, come tournament time, um, you know, I, I was telling the kids the other day, that doesn't guarantee anything. It just tells us that we have a puncher's chance in the tournament, that we have an opportunity to, um, you know, compete against anyone because they're going to keep us in the game on the mound. You know, oh, obviously being in the high 80s, low 90s, uh, you know, Alec being uh, mid to high 80s and then Chance and, and um, you know, Chance and, and O being guys that can throw three pitches. You know, we're trying to get like a third pitch for Alec. Uh, it's all going to start on the mound. Uh, defensively, I think we have a chance to be pretty good. Uh, you know, Alec will be behind the plate uh, a lot of the time. And we're, we feel like we've developed Austin enough to, to where we trust him. And, um, you know, Chance at short. Um, Alec will actually have to play short when Chance pitches. And then we'll probably end up with, uh, you know, Olindo in, in center. And then when, when he's not pitching great more, who we're very excited about as a sophomore, we'll have to kick over, play center field. Uh, but, you know, we'll be strong up the middle and we'll feel like, you know, we're going to make plays defensively, you know, um, you don't have to make a great play, but just get, make the routine plays, limit our pitchers' pitch counts, and, and let them have a chance to get out of innings. And, um, you know, I, I think we'll be good enough offensively to scrape together some runs. So, um, you know, it, it, for us, it will start on the mound, and and we'll catch the ball, and, and I think we can scratch and uh, claw to, you know, put up some runs. And, and, and uh, we feel very good about the top half of our batting order and, and hopefully um, some of the guys at the bottom develop a little bit more to kind of kick it over and give us a punch. So, 
Coach, final question I have for you. I want to give you the opportunity to highlight your assistants and some other big names in that Struthers program that uh, you wouldn't be able to do it without and some of the assistants you brought on to your uh, coaching staff with you. Well, um, for me, I, the big thing was um, I was able to get some guys that I've been with in the past. In fact, everybody on the staff has coached with me in some capacity. Uh, Mike Vitucci is, is back with me. Um, you know, he had a stint with me at Liberty, and then I lost him for a year. Uh, I was able to get him back on board. He's excited because this, this is his alma mater. Um, and, um, you know, he'll, he deals mostly with the hitters for us and, and coaches the infield. Uh, but he's a former player of mine, played for me in Cosby, um, played a little bit up at Hiram. Um, and, and, you know, he was one of them guys when the job was up, you know, he, he kind of told me that, you know, that this is the place for you. So uh, I'm excited to have Coach Tooch back with us in the fold uh, with me. Uh, Coach A.J. Perfilio is with me as well. Um, I, I, I've been with A.J. since I was a senior in high school. He was a freshman on our district runner-up team at Cheney on the team I played with uh, when I was a senior. Uh, I'm losing the picture. There we go. Okay. Um, but AJ was, um, you know, somebody that was on coach Durkin's staff for over 10 years at Ursuline in which they won multiple district championships and, and won a state championship. Uh, AJ has been on my coaching staff when I won class B championships and been to regionals and, uh, you know, he, he handles all of our catching duties. Um, he, he handles our pitchers as well as myself. Um, just very excited to be with him uh, once again. You know, he was with me at Liberty for a stint as well. And uh, it, it just makes it easier when you're around those guys. And um, I, I can't be um, thankful enough for them. Also, Johnny Martin's back on the coaching staff uh, as well. Um, you know, he's, he's coached some of my younger teams in Class B, and he's coming back to the, the Struthers as an assistant. Uh, he's, he's dealt with the outfielders for us and, and, um, we're, we're just excited to get this underway. And, um, there's a lot of comfort on the coaching staff because they've been with me a lot of years and, you know, it helps if, if you won together too, in the past, you know, coach Petucci coaches with me as well. So coach, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. It was great to hear from you. Great to get a preview of Struthers baseball. We look forward to the season and uh, we look forward to talking to you again real soon. You got it. Thanks for having me, guys. Thank you, Coach.